okay? So we're playing the we're playing the demo of Eastward now. This game, let me tell you what, looks like it was deeply, deeply, deeply inspired by Earthbound. Just gonna say that one right up front. Let me get in there. There it is. Okay. We're going with English. It's being published by Chucklefish. And I've been looking forward to this game for literal years. It is coming out in 2020. It was shown on a Nintendo Direct, which is probably when most people... It was shown on Nintendo Indie Direct, so that's probably how most people learned of this game's existence. I knew about it before that, and I've been excited forever. The style of this game is exactly, exactly my shit. Like, look at this. This just screams Manny's Jam. And do you hear this music right now? It's great. What do we got going on? John's favorite pan. There is a lady who loved to use pans as well. Should be loved, but that's okay. Powerful weapon, not very popular <laughs> among the people due to the annoying shooting sound. Seven capacity. The box hold the bombs. That's my life motto. The box hold the bombs, baby. The box deposit the ammunition. The most common bomb, which is easy to use. The Sam's power will consume her energy, and the energy will recover gradually. Sam's light orb can be used to constrain the monsters. Now we got some bento for healing. Small bomb pack. Ingredients for cooking. Collection, we don't have anything in there. Got a bunch of unknown recipes. This map is disgustingly cool. I could hear people quarreling near Tayama's house. What's up? Looks like we've got 500 salt. That's what R1 does. Just messing around with buttons. Look like much. What a pretty little girl. I dreamed of becoming an adventurer once, but guess these feet were made for dancing instead. Oh, you can't see the salt thing because I am over it. You saw that, huh? Another short circuit. So you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little short with you too. Oof. According to her, this is the season of love. But well, it's much too early for that. Movement's a little weird. It feels like there's a lot of weight to him as a character. Oh, wow. It's you guys. What do you want to know this time? I know everything in this town. Every dirty little secret. See that little Jizo statue in the red bib? Give it a poke. Something good'll happen. No more freebies, you hear? You break it again and it'll cost ya. Did you see the hair on that guy? All right, so the girl, Sam, I, the guy, and John. How do I poke it? Isn't that a Jizo statue? 
Whoa. That's a crappy bed. It's got holes and shit in it. Patience is a virtue, my children. Time is on your side. Okay. This PlayStation. Nice! Right on the money. Yo. Ah, it's Sam. Yowza! This thing kicks ass! Hey, Sam's here! Oh, hey, Sam. Did you see that, huh? A perfect strike. You want to play with us, Sam? Sorry, I'm on a mission. A mission? Wait, don't tell me. It's for the Rocket Knight Legion, isn't it? Oh man, I'm so jealous. Riding in on their fire-breathing horses at supersonic speed? Gleaming blades cleansing the world of evil and unrighteousness. The honorable Rocket Knights. The courageous Rocket Knights. Go, go, Rocket Knights! Farewell, milady, and give them hell. But when you're done, come back and play, okay? The pixel art in this game is crazy looking. This shit looks amazing. Playing their PlayStation 1 game. Detective rule number one. First-hand investigation is crucial to success. It's strange, the item things are translated kind of poorly, but the dialogue is perfectly, perfectly translated, which is odd. Whoa, Dalsum? The mystery that stands before you is but a small part of this world. Don't be so hard on him, boss. Cletus didn't know this was gonna happen. I, I had no idea there would be monsters there. Quiet! And that means you can just abandon the equipment and run away with your tail between your legs? Listen up, you ingrates. Brotherhood construction is unstoppable. Ain't no one can stop us. Bean. Oh, John. What perfect timing. We got attacked in the sawmill. Lost our equipment to some damn monsters. Monsters? Sawmill? You hear that, John? Sounds like our time to shine. Don't worry, we've got this. Let's go, John. Okay. I probably should have kept exploring the town. Hurry, John! The monsters are getting away! The journey before you requires not only strength, but wisdom. Remember this, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Bike stuck in that tree. Okay, square man gets you with the frying pan. Ooh. Monsters! I'm coming for you! Whoa. 
picturing you, the health is wild. This was the music from the trailer. And I love it. They also put it up on Twitter once, and so I've listened to this song a lot, actually. You found a heart container. Max health increased. I mean, it feels a little strange, but I mean, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It works perfectly fine, smacking them with the, the pan. Let's see what the gun is like. A little small bomb pack. I like the frying pan better. The gun feels kind of strange, but... Puzzles, I see. John! It's my turn now! Whoa. Oh, switch between Sam and John. Interesting. That probably adds for some cool puzzle dynamics. This is going to have a lot of Zelda similarities. You coming? Oh, she needs... Okay. I'm so curious about this world, like, I mean, obviously I want to know about John and Sam as characters, but I'm I'm curious about a lot of stuff. Like, it seems like it's a post-apocalyptic world, and like there's a bunch of weird broken shit everywhere. Wow, even Zelda-like noises for the uh, stuff opening. Oh shit, what?
Okay, now she can come down here. Group them up, swap back to John. Boom! Yeah, I wonder why she has magical powers. I wonder what's going on with the world. There's so much I would like to know. Yeah, I, I really, I really have wanted to play this game for a long time, and I was kind of bummed because, like, they announced that it was, quote, coming soon a really long time ago, and it's it's been a long time since then. Like, it's been on Steam on a wishlist page forever, it feels like, uh... And then they showed it the Nintendo Direct thing and said that it was coming in 2020 and like there still wasn't a concrete release date and that bummed me out a little bit too. I I hope, my hope is that because this seems like a pretty... Like it, fe it feels good and that that's what I always worry about with games like indie games is that developers lose sight of whether or not a thing is good and so they need external validation or something and like this feels this feels great for sure so i hope that they get a lot of positive feedback about this because it um Definitely feels pretty cool. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Eat the bento. Yeah, the way things are hitting is kind of a little bit weird. You can't see it, but my salt slash money meter looks to be full. Oh, now, now I don't know. Sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's red. Oh, it depends which character I am. It's blue, John, red, or Sam. Next health increase, there's no way this can be like that in the final game. Getting mad health mad quick. Interesting. No idea how to stop. Very loud. Want to save your game? I can do that for you, but, you know, I'm still warming up. Oh, because it's the demo, I see. Oh, you can cook at the stove. Neat. Vegetables. Oh, 
Oh, I got it. Aha! This must be the place they mentioned. Look! Is that... Monster! Whoa! What the heck? That was so close! Okay, it seems safe. I think we should get back now. Wait... Where does that tunnel lead? It smells like... Adventure! Let's go, John! Single player, dual character adventure RPG with puzzle solving and dungeon elements. Meet a quirky cast of characters, encounter strange monsters in distant cities. Beautifully detailed pixel art created using a combination of modern 3D lighting and retro pixel art style. Follow John and Sam on their emotional journey across a world falling to ruin. That's pretty sick. Let me first... Before we call it quits on this one, I just want to see if there's a little bit more we can explore in the city. Because it gave the option to not go yet. I just want to see if there's some more people we can check out. Oh, there's a bunch! You stay away, you hear? Don't want to scare this little fella off. Hey, watch your step. These spices ain't cheap. This steam pepper. The steam will be sprayed when the pepper shall break. Come and take a look. The freshest fish tail in the house. Do you want a piece? I don't... The mouse is on my other screen, but that cursor keeps showing up. Welcome, the best fish head in town. You can't miss it. Same thing. Fresh fruit, we pick them, you buy them. Carrot's not fruit, I don't think. Huh? I don't remember there being a Jizo here. Feel something strange, but warm. Max health increased. Oh, interesting. What the fuck's going on over here? Is this dude eating the baby? Y you didn't hear this from me here. But I've heard tell there's something unbelievable hidden deep in the dam. No, 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 no. You can't just go there. Not now.
Hello again, my friends. You've come at just the right time. Come, come, take a look at what I found. This here is a very rare and ancient totem. I would hazard a guess that only those from my village would recognize this for what it truly is. This my fish place is here first. No room for you. How's about you take this instead? A great bento, nice. This be something is just fished up. Don't know what it is. Anyway, fish is no biting today. Only this doo doo on the pole. Lots of secret places in the forest. Got to look real hard. Then you find them. Dang, I didn't find a single secret place. I suck. Or can I go in there? That barbershop? It's not clear what ones I can go into and which ones I can't. Okay, we'll have to... Can we skip this? Nope. You gotta watch the whole thing. So that's the whole city, I think. Let's just do another lap. Yeah, this seems super interesting so far. Hopefully there's a bunch of like weird, bizarre side quests and stuff. The characters seem very interesting. Yeah, so that's it. Super cool, super, super cool. And with that, that's all four demos. I would, as I thought, I think I like Spirit Fair the best because it seems like the most manny ass game ever conceived. Uh, Eastward definitely has the art style and vibe that I'm into, uh, but we'll see how it pans out in the end. There's not a lot to it so far, other than that it's a... I mean, it gives you the context of the gameplay. So in the ranking of demos of the ones I picked, I would say Spirit Fair, Eastward, Chicory, Skatebird. Skatebird needs a lot of work. That was a hilarious glitch, though. Um, but with that, those are the only ones of all the Game Award demo things that came out that I wanted to play. So uh, with that... I'll call it a stream. Thank you to anyone who watched, and I will catch you next Thursday when I play Bug Fables. Peace.